What's up you guys? Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another figure review. And today we are going to be reviewing the Sci-Fi Rebel Tech Gamera from uh, Gamera 2 Attack of Legion. Now just to get straight onto it with the box, here's the front cover of the box. Nice side picture there where he's firing his mana cannon. That side, top, bottom, and then of course the back which shows all the different you know poses that he can be in, accessories and whatnot. And then, of course, the inside of the box, very nice, you know, with pictures of the, uh, from the film and all that good stuff. And then, of course, the window where the figure is normally displayed. And now, onto the figure itself. Here is Gamera from Gam uh, the Sci-Fi Rebel Tech Gamera from Gamera 2 Attack of Legion. I want to say this, this is probably my favorite Gamera design. I just love the look of it. Um... I mean, I know a lot of people do like the Gamera from Gamera 3, Revenge of Iris, but um, I don't know. I like, I like I, that Gamera is cool. I do love that design as well, but I don't know. There's something about this one I like a lot. And um, just to get straight onto it with detail and paint job, again, they all have all that nice wrinkly increases of, you know, turtle skin. Uh, very nice shell detail, especially on his chest. That looks very nice. And, of course, the back shell, that looks awesome. Uh, again, very perfect on the face, a very nice green in the eyes, uh, very nice, you know, bone white for his teeth and his tusks, you know, pinkish red inside the mouth, you know, more bone white here for his, you know, his little sp his spikes, I guess, on his, you know, forearms, you know, feet are very nicely turtleish like a very nice uh, fat stubby tail. And uh, that about does it for a detail and paint job. Let's move straight on to articulation. Of course, his head can move kind of far up and, you know, a little bit, you know, kind of looking down, more or less straight ahead. Of course, his jaw can open and close. Uh, his wrists have a little bit of a swivel. Of course, he has elbow and then shoulder, you know, whatnot. And, of course, here at his thigh, he has, you know, joints. And then, of course, at his knees and his ankles. And his tail is different from the other Gamera's. His tail is that, you know, it's just a very uh, thick rubber with a wire running through it. And so you can bend it in all different kinds of poses and stuff like that. But I'm not going to do that with mine just because uh, I know that this stuff can wear out and crack over time depending how much you bend it. But then it does have a little joint right there at the base that you can kind of flap it up and down. And then now we'll move on to accessories. Of course, Gamera comes with his uh, fireball here, and this fireball is different from others too. It's a solid plastic instead of a tra instead of a translucent plastic, to where you know light can shine through it and whatnot. But very nice detail and paint job all the way around, using the yellows and the oranges and the whites. This actually kind—I of, mean, it it could almost be mistaken for like a Cheeto or something. <laughs> it almost has that same look to it. Looks like a Cheeto, but a uh, very nice you know detail and paint job there. A little bug on my leg there. And now we will move on to uh, his next accessory, which is one of the Legion Flowers. Now the Legion Flowers is actually made out of, out of, out of a uh, translucent plastic. I mean, uh, you can kind of see through it and whatnot. But uh, a very nicely detailed and painted for a Legion Flower. Uh, this was a very nice accessory to include with Gamera. I mean, of course, he did destroy one of them. But uh, a very nice, uh, you know, except, what can more can I say about it? It just looks like a little, you know, prehistoric flower pod or a pod from outer space, which is where Legion was from. But a very nice, you know, Legion flower pod. And then, of course, um, I will say about this next accessory, this is when Gamera opens up his, uh, his, uh, his uh, chest on a, you know, his shell chest, and he fires his giant mana cannon or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I won't dismantle it. I will say that this piece is hard to get. Like, when you first get this figure, this is what's on him already. And I just wanted this piece on Gamera. I mean, and once I realized how freaking tough this was to get off, holy crap, it's like I've, I've never put this back on just because this was tough to freaking pull off and then I, I tried pulling off this chest piece it's just as difficult they did not make that easy at all so I mean and I like I didn't want to like break the figure or anything like that so I'm, I'm just gonna have to leave this chest piece on 
I mean, holy crap, I've never had a tougher time getting this, you know, like something off of a figure. This was, this took the cake. This was tough. So be warned, if you do get, pick this figure up, this is going to be a bit of a bitch to get off. But uh, you will get it off. Just take your time and be patient with it. But a uh, very nice accessory. Of course, that'll just open up to reveal his mana cannon, getting ready to fire a giant fire blast at Legion. So that's a nice little accessory. And then, of course, his nameplate, you know, G2, Gamma 2, Attack of Legion, and whatever else it says on there. So, of course, your nameplate. And then, of course, just like with any, uh, just like with the last Gamma I reviewed, you can use the jets from uh, the 1967 Gamma to uh, go on this Gamma if you want him to have, you know, a little bit of a flying effect, because that's what this Gamma lacks. He doesn't have any uh, flying effect parts. So, if you want to put some nice uh, jets on him, the 1967 Jets of Gamera worked very well. Again, just you know, using other accessories to go with other figures, especially if there are multiple Gamera's, you know, they work just fine. So uh, you know, very nice, you know, Jet accessories and everything like that. And now finally, we'll go on to sizing and what else to size them with. But yes, I do have the Sci-Fi Rebel Tech Legion. Uh, perfect sizing. Legion was a very huge adversary for Gamera to go up against, and uh, sizing is pretty much overall perfect. So not a problem. Again, Rebel Techs will just size with other Rebel Techs. And Legion is the biggest Rebel Tech that they've made, as far as I know. That's what I remember hearing them saying. So uh, again, sizing, perfect with other Rebel Techs. Why was I moving Gamera out of the way? This isn't the Legion review. That's the next review. Anyways... Uh, we are Godzilla Fan Freaks. This is the Sci-Fi Rebel Tech Gamera from Gamera 2 Attack of Legion. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video review. Thank you for watching.